So now, what are we going to do as part of this chunk here is, so as we have already created a class and inside the class, we have a created a methods. Now, the next point uh, that we need to do is just try to call the method, okay? Try to call the methods in a different class. So how exactly we are going to call the methods in a different class is the most important thing which we need to consider. So what I'm going to do right now means, let me create a new Java class. And before, <coughs> and before that, we know what is a class. A class is a collection of methods, main method, constructor the co and a variables too the combination of all these things we can call it as a class then what is an object object is an instance to a class okay an object is an instance to a particular class so what are we going to do with this particular instance using the object we can access the complete information present in the class, okay? So whatever the information is there in order to access the complete information present in that particular class, we are using an object. So the ultimate point is I have a one class where in which I have a defined some information. In another class, if I want to use that particular information, then the only thing that we need to do is we just need to create an object to that particular class and using that particular object itself, we can access that information. So on a simple note, object is an instance to the class or any real world entity, we call it as an object. If we want to create an object, for sure, class should be there. Without a class, you can't create any object. See, in yesterday's example, if you consider class is a blueprint, right? An example for this one is a student application form, <clears throat> right? In the student application form, you are going to, okay? So whatever the student application form is there, this is common for everyone. <laughs> If someone needs to fill that form means there should be a template to define and that particular template, we call it as a blueprint. Okay, that particular template, we call it as a blueprint. So class is the stuff from where the individual objects got created. Fine, perfect, done the deal. So if you want to create any objects, for sure in the class, you need to define that. Like this is the way how it looks like. This is the way all these things, you need to define it in a class. And then only you can use that information in an object. Okay, so class is a blueprint an object is a real world entity. So it means object means if someone fill the form, then we can treat it as an object. Okay, if someone has filled the form, then we can treat it as an object. Fine, done the deal. So this is the way how exactly we need to work on. Okay, so this is the way how exactly we just need to work on. Okay, fine, done. And once we are done up to this particular point, which is an object creation, is there any syntax for that? See, one thumb rule that we need to consider is in Java, if you want to perform any operation, there is a defined syntax for that. We just need to follow the syntax. In Java, if we want to perform even a single operation, there is a defined syntax which we need to follow, okay? So we always need to follow a specific sentence that we have in this particular Java. So for this Java object creation also, there is a syntax. In order to create an object, new is the keyword which is used. So this 
allocates memory for the program. Okay, the new keywords allocates the memory for the program. Whichever the memory is required in order to handle that, we are using this particular new keyword. New is used for a memory allocation for that particular object. Okay, so new followed by a class name for which we are creating an object. So new followed by a class name, what it's going to do means for this class, it's going to allocate some memory and that memory, we are storing it in a variable, which is of a class type. So what is this OBJ is holding now? This OBJ is holding the complete class instance. Whatever the class instance is there, the complete class instance reference to that particular class is stored here in this particular OBJ itself. Okay, in this particular OBJ itself, we have this particular operation. Perfect. Okay. And then the next point of what we need to do is let us go ahead and create a new class and let us create an object for that. So new SRC here, let me create a new class <coughs> and I'm naming it as a demo to and in order to do this particular thing, what I'm doing means I'm selecting a main method public static void a main of a string of arguments. I have selected it and I clicked on this finish button. Okay, so for a class as of now, if you see the demo one class, it's just a normal class where in which you have a defined the variables and everything. And now this is the class where we have a main method. So the main method syntax is a public static void main. This is what the syntax for this particular main method is. Okay, this is what exactly the syntax for this main method is. Good. And then the next point that we need to consider is the object of whichever you want to create, it should be inside a main method. In Java, the complete program execution will start from a main method itself. Okay, it will start from a main method itself. Wherever you want to start with, it should start from a main method itself. That's what the ultimate objective for this particular thing is. Okay, it should start the execution from the main method. So whatever the syntax that we have studied right now. So new demo one, this is the object creation. I'm storing it in a demo one space obj. This is the name that we can assign anything. Okay. Demo one space obj is equal to new demo one is the syntax that I have created, that I have used in order to create a particular object. Okay. In Java, in order to create an object, this is what the syntax we need to use. Fine, buddy, you have created an object. After that, how exactly I can access that information? The only thing is obj dot, see, dot is the magic operator here. Using that instance, whatever we have created, if I use a dot, automatically see here, all the variables and the methods, whichever we have will be populated here. Okay, all the variables and as well as the methods will be populated here. So whatever the information is there from the class, see here at the end, you can find it as a demo one, demo one, demo one, demo one. It means this is the variable that you are getting from a demo one. A is a variable which is of an integer type and you are getting from a demo one. B is a variable which is of a Boolean type and we are getting from a demo one. C is a variable that we are of a character type and we are getting from a demo one. D is a variable which is of a double type and we are getting from a demo one. So all these things we are performing, we are getting from the demo one. See the login is a method. See the method name is populated. The method is returning having some void out over there and we are getting it from the demo one itself.
Okay, so I have a just specified demo one. OBJ dot login. So now what we have done, guys, with the help of an object, we are accessing the information present in one class into an another class. That's what the ultimate objective that we are dealing with. Okay, that's what the ultimate objective that we are dealing with. The only thing that we need to consider here is we just need to identify in such a way that whatever the class you are looking for, you just need to identify that class information and you need to create an object for that particular class itself. <clears throat> Good. Any questions for me on this, everyone? <coughs> okay. Okay, fine. Done the deal. And then, okay. And then once we are creating a particular object, we need to remember that this object creation using this particular object, you can access the complete information present in one class in an another class. That's what the ultimate point that you need to consider. Okay, with the help of this object, I can access this complete information. Okay, good. And the deal. Perfect, guys. And then uh, the next point that we need to consider is we were able to access that information here and then right to click on the program, run as a Java application. So I'm just trying to execute it. So whichever the logic you want, that logic will be executed here. Okay, whichever the logic you want, that logic got executed here. That's it. This is the way how exactly we can deal with it. Okay, this is the way how exactly we can deal with it. Okay, perfect. Okay, good. Done the deal. Okay, and then once after we have created this object, guys, the only thing that we need to consider is whenever you are creating an object with the help of this object, you can access the complete information present in that particular class. So here, demo one space obj is equal to new demo one and obj dot login and even we can call this obj dot logout whichever the method is there we can call that particular information here not only in this class in any class you can access this information let me show you a small example of this particular stuff in an excel file so that you guys can understand that as of now <clears throat> You have a demo one class. Okay, this is the class name and this is the method name. Okay, so this is the class name and this is the method name. In the demo one class, okay, in the demo one class, you have login, comma, logout methods. In the demo two class, I want to use login, comma, logout. Okay, login comma lockout. I just want to use it that we have a defined in this particular demo one. Okay, this login comma lockout, which we defined in demo one. That's it. Okay, how exactly we can do that? The only thing is you need to create an object to demo one and using that object we can access the information. That's it. In the current situation, we have just to perform this operation. Okay. The same way, okay, the same way here, assume that this class is having 
login, delete, logout, and other methods too. Create these many methods are there. Assume that. Out of all these methods, I want to use only create, guys. I want to use only create, which is defined in a demo one. So what we need to do, see your requirement is just one method or your requirement is to access multiple methods. No matter, you need to create an object and using that particular object itself, you can access the complete information. Okay, using that particular object itself, you can access, okay, the full and the information out over there. Okay, so it means you need to create an object to demo one and using that object, we can access the method. So the ultimate point is whether your requirement is to create to access a one method or your requirement is to access multiple methods, no matter. Ultimately, you need to create an object to access the information present in one class in another class. That's what the only thing that we need to consider. Okay, that's what the thing only we need to consider. That's it. Okay, is this point clear for you all or any questions for me on this, everyone? Okay, perfect. Done the deal. So, a quick question for you all. Anyone can, off, anyone can unmute yourself and uh, let me answer, uh, just give me an answer for this thing. So, assume that my, I have uh, Sunita one class and I have Radha class. In Sunita, I have a login, logout, delete, create. These four methods are there. I want to access all these four methods in a Radha class. So what I need to do, guys, what exactly we need to do in accessing this information? Shiva, uh, Raj, Anyone? We need to create a demo uh, object for Sunanda. Yes, yeah. Sunanda, is that clear for you too? Sunanda and Raj? Is that yes, clear so for you both? So the real... clear. Yes. Yeah, so, the, so we have to create the object <coughs> yes. uh, first because that's the real thing. And then uh, we need to create a blueprint. Yes. Yeah. So, so the blueprint is the first and the object is the next. So the blueprint will be defined first and you need to call that blueprint using the object. So it means Sunita 1 space OBJ is equal to new Sunita 1. That's it. We have a created an object for this particular Sunita 1. And assume that you have a, another class which is Ramya. And in Ramya, you want to use delete method only. Even what you need to do, even I want to access only one method also. What exactly we need to do, guys? Still, we need to create an object. So it means Sunita 1 space OBJ is equal to new Sunita 1. I need to create an object to that particular class itself. That's what the ultimate point which you guys need to do with while accessing the information present in one class in another class. Any questions on this class and as well as an object creation? Can you explain me that Ramya one more time? Yeah, see, the thing is, Ramya would like to access the information, only one method that is there in a Sunita. As I told you that, no matter how many methods you want to access present in another class, the only thing that you need to do is, if you want to access one method, two method, three method, four methods, any methods, you need to create an object and using that object itself, you can access the information. Without any objects, you can't access the information present in one class and in another class. So that's the reason here in Ramya, you need to create an object to Sunita and and then you have to access that information. Got it? Yes. Perfect. Done the deal, guys. So this is all about what is an object and how exactly we can deal with an object. Okay. So let us rejoin the session.